everybody welcome to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan i just wanted to say real quick before we get into it i know we are now in like august 2nd and i have not announced vlogmas not vlogmas it's not december vlogmas yet vlogmas will start tomorrow i know it's a couple days late but i need a little bit of a cushion in terms of editing so um it will just start tomorrow and i'm very excited to vlog every day in august i will still be doing my sunday chats and i'll still be doing lunch videos but other than that it'll just be vlogs going up so this is the last haul that you'll see, except I'll probably incorporate the hauls into vlogs. So just kind of very similar to how I do Vlogmas. We're gonna be doing Vlogmas. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you hit the notifications so you don't miss anything. But let's get into this grocery haul. So we did two different pickups. This is the first one, this is Walmart. I'm also getting a pickup tomorrow, so you'll see that at the end of this clip. I have found um, if I order two different pickups and get the stuff that's on sale, I pull up both of my um, apps back to back. I check all the prices to see what's cheaper at Kroger, what's cheaper at Walmart. I order what's cheaper at Kroger at Kroger. I order what's cheaper at Walmart at Walmart. We're, we live just like two minutes from both of them. So it's really easy to just get the pickup and we do save a good bit of money doing it like that. Like these pennies add up because y'all, this right here that you're looking at, $60. I, I just can't believe it. It adds up so fast. I don't feel like we got that much stuff for $60, but here we are. So tomorrow you'll see another $40 to $50 haul, so stay tuned. But let me share with you what we're going to do for the meal plan this week. Um, I usually pick six, five to six different meals, and then we have all the stuff to make those meals. I don't always end up making them all. Some of them bump to the next week, um, but, or we'll have like three or four meals and we'll have leftovers. I try to keep it really um, not super structured, but I like to have stuff on hand, though I know we have five to six meals and we can kind of choose from that, if that makes sense. So, and I always try to use up my freshest items first. So. I wanna try this new recipe, it's like a cheese tortellini pizza casserole. So we're gonna do that. I have um, all the stuff to make a taco hash brown casserole, that sounds good. I found a recipe for crock pot Swedish meatballs with, and then I'm gonna do that with mashed potatoes and green beans. Um, we're gonna do homemade pizza one night. I have stuff to do burritos one night, and I'm just looking and realizing they did not give me, I feel like we're missing a few things because I ordered Maybe I ordered that from Kroger. I ordered burrito shells, like tortillas. I need to look, maybe I ordered that from um, Kroger. Um, so anyway, we got stuff to do burritos too. And then I also have breakfast for dinner stuff we can do if we want to. So anyway, I'm gonna get into the haul. I'm gonna show you guys everything we got and then um, stay tuned and we'll get into Kroger. So first up is some strawberries. They don't look terrible, but like this one, isn't it funny? Like sometimes they look almost half full, but I guess it's not. So we got two pounds of strawberries. I needed garlic, so two bulbs of garlic, some more mini muffins. Mark is really the only one that eats these now, but he really likes them. I got more pepperoni for snacks, and then also for that pizza casserole. Lucy's favorite string cheese, this girl. She would eat two or three of these a day if I let her. We go through so much string cheese. Okay, we're having issues with Nate's melatonin. I don't know if you guys remember this, but we changed to another brand um, and he's just having trouble sleeping. So I'm gonna put him back on this and we're gonna see how it goes. I don't know if it's time to increase his dosage. We have a little bit and it's not helping. So I thought I would get this old faithful that he's been on for years and we're gonna see if it will do its magic. I got some green beans. I got some milk, of course. This was a substitution. I ordered the great value one. Um, the only thing, they did some weird stuff with substitutions. The one from great value was 32 ounces, which we didn't need all of that, but it was like twice the amount that's in here. Um, this one was definitely more expensive though, so they did give me the lower price. This is like over $7 and I only paid $4.98 or something. But it's so annoying because if I wanted, like if I needed that big amount, if I was making it for uh, more of us or if I wanted the leftovers, this would not be what I ordered. I ordered 32 ounces and this is only 18 ounces. So I don't really know why they do that. It seems frustrating because it's fine for this case, but in other cases it messes me up. I just got, oh, this was another substitution. I got the flaky layers biscuits and they substituted these, which is fine. I got another can of cinnamon rolls. 
I really love having hummus and crackers for like a little appetizer. That's what I've been doing for my one meal a day that I've been eating. I'll do like an appetizer, a dinner, and a little dessert. Um, if you guys have been watching the shorts. So I got this everything hummus to have with the everything pita crackers. I also thought yogurt parfaits would be good. So I saw this maple pecan granola and thought we would try that. I got some of the great value stack attack original and then i ordered the great value barbecue and they didn't have it so they did substitute the pringles which is great although i honestly like the great value ones better but we need this steak sauce for um it's not for steak if y'all if y'all don't know this i hate steak so i don't think i've ever bought steak sauce but um i know that's weird i'm not a very big meat eater i need it for the swedish meatballs so it calls for steak sauce Probably could have used something else, but it was only a dollar, so I thought, well, I'll just get it. The Velveeta is for the tortellini casserole. It's not Velveeta, it's a great value, but the Velveeta was like twice the price. This was another weird substitution. I ordered three boxes of Nutrigrain bars, one big box of strawberry, which they did substitute, but then a couple other boxes, of, and then I ordered all the great value ones. So a big box of strawberry and like a blueberry and an apple cinnamon. Well, they just said they didn't have the apple cinnamon and the blueberry and they only substituted this one. So I kind of wish I had more of these because Nate's going through these so fast. So I feel like I'm gonna have to go back to the store this week and get more cereal bars, but at least we have enough to get through probably the majority of the week. Nate is like on an eating kick right now. So I wanna make sure we have enough of you know, the stuff he really likes. This I just got for burrito night. I thought it'd be nice to have something I can just stick in the in the microwave and be able to make burritos really quickly. So I got that just to have in the pantry. Some more taco seasoning, a big thing of pizza sauce, some meatballs for the Swedish meatball casserole, and that's it, $60. So stay tuned. I'm gonna add the Kroger one right now. All right, you guys, it is the next day. I just went and got the Kroger order. Um, they had everything except I was going to see if they had, if you guys remember, I did a Kroger sales haul last week and they had toilet paper on sale, but they didn't have it. So I put that in my grocery order to see if they possibly got it and they didn't have it. So they tried to substitute like something else and I didn't really want it. So I just deny that substitution. So I spent $36, but then I ran in while I was over at Kroger and got a couple extra things, spent another $11. So this all is about $47, not too bad. Um, I really love Kroger's prices on a lot of things, but not everything. I got another watermelon. It was over a dollar cheaper to get it at Kroger. Not as cheap as last week. Last week it was $2.49. Um, this was like $4. 49 something like that so we've been getting really good watermelons from Kroger um I got some more diet it's like uh Coke Zero it's the Kroger brand and that's all they had they didn't have the Diet Dr. Pepper one or the Cherry Coke one so we just got that for this week but we love their zero brand of Kroger sodas. They're really good. And they're usually about $3.99. Sometimes they'll be three for 10. Sometimes even better sales than that, but it's so much cheaper. It's like almost half the price is regular soda, like name brand. I got some more tortilla chips and then I got some just regular potato chips. I got some of their like Midol knockoff because this does help my headaches sometimes so I like to have it to try before I use my migraine pills this is one of the best deals um this was $3.99 I bought it several times now and it's been $3.99 so I don't know if that's a sale price or what but this is a huge bag it is 32 ounces half this size at Walmart which is not name brand it's just the Walmart brand half this size is the same price I don't know why it's so cheap at Kroger there's a few brown pieces but not too bad. And I see this price all the time at Kroger. So we have salad, left salad for the entire week. I needed some of this for recipes. So we got a cream of mushroom and a cheddar cheese. These were a lot cheaper at Kroger too. Plus they had a digital coupon. So I got both of these for like a dollar 25, I think. So about 75 cents each. I keep buying more ground beef because it's still on sale. And I'm like, well, let me get a couple more. So this is the Angus private selection, Angus beef, 80, 20. This has been on sale for two 99 for the last few weeks and I keep buying it. Um, 
maybe like a week and then it was off a week and now it's back on sale. I don't know. Anyway, this is $2.99 for, that's just really good. You can't hardly find ground beef for $2.99 a pound, let alone like the private selection ones. So I got two more to have either in the freezer or for when we might have it actually tonight. We'll just see. Um, I got some big burrito sized flour tortillas so we can make some burritos this week. I got these a couple weeks ago for Nate to try because he loves golden Oreos and the Kroger has their own brand, but the only ones I can find are the double stuff kind. I wasn't sure how sweet that would be. Nate doesn't like a lot of sweet things and these are really sweet, but he loves them. He loves these. So I got another pack of them. They're like two fifty or something. I don't know. They're not that cheap, but they are a little bit cheaper than Oreos. I got some blueberries and then everything else I got in store today. I just was feeling some broccoli, like broccoli with like ranch or something sounds really good. Mark loves these shoestring fries, so I got him some more of those. Peaches were 89 cents a pound, and I just was looking at my receipt and realized they did not ring up 89 cents a pound. They rang up like $2 a pound or over $2 a pound. It would only save me like three, two, a little over $2, almost $3 to go back and fix it. So I'm just not going to worry about it, but that kind of sucks because... These are really nice peaches. I was like, oh, 89 cents a pound. That's so good. I'm going to get some. Good thing I didn't get more than that. It is what it is. And then the only markdown I saw that I wanted was these. These are croissants. They look so good. It says they're baked in store and they're everything flavored for $1.79. So I'm going to take these out of this box, put them in like a freezer bag and freeze them. And then one night we'll have breakfast sandwiches or like just put ham and cheese or turkey and cheese. I think that'd be really good. So this is everything for our week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure you like it and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye everybody. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself.